for you. I'm going to do this right arm only. Okay. So you're going to get your right arm. You're going to take it back. And then what I want you to do is I want you to pull the claw into the entire. So keeping the elbow on the side. And then the next one, I want you to just put the claw into impact by straightening the right arm down. Okay. okay. So you're going to do it once by keeping the elbow into the side. So squeezing it, no, 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 just, just demonstrate in impact position, yeah, so just take it back, little back swing, now they're keeping that elbow tight into your side, yeah. keeping all the angle in the wrist and the arm, yeah. put the club into impact there, keep going, keep going, keep, put it in, there you go, okay, yeah. now do it again, but this time what you're going to do is you're going to take it back and you do it by just straightening your right arm, so don't do as much, there you go, put it into impact, okay. So repeat that a few times for me now. So as you do this one, you've got to turn and side bend. Yeah. Yeah? Not just turning. People talk about rotation yeah. all the time, right? You're not just turning. Turning and side bending. Okay? Yeah. Now do this next one. Do it do the other way. From there now, you're going to turn less. Yeah. And you're going to side bend. You're certainly going to side bend less because you're widening the arc now with your right arm, aren't you? Yeah. Do it the other way again. So there you've got to turn and side bend to get the club to bottom out behind the ball. Yeah. That's more of the Sam Sneed image that you yeah. looked at. Yeah. yeah? Do it the other way. That's more what you see with players who sort of early extend, if you will, pull up, never get back into flexion. That uh, feels start to like extend that. too much. That yeah, feels, right arms. That doesn't feel like what I do a lot. Yeah. Of time. That, is, that feels like that. Yeah. So that's right arms pronated more. Yeah. Wrist angles will be coming out quicker. Yeah. Was the other no no the reality of it is when you do the better one when you do the different one the, the one with the right arm more bent mm -hmm. more turn and side bend could you do it to that amount at speed realistically I would say no, no. you know you got to have a real serious range of motion to do that and the extension would kick in at a different rate mm -hmm. yeah. Um, so, so there's a few things that you've it's got to bear in mind. Yeah, it's finding a balance between. Of course, the two, under, it really? without a doubt, yeah. So <clears> you get your head around the sort of basic concepts of what you're trying to achieve, the difference between the two extremes, and then start to figure out, you know, how much of that can you actually apply. When you're hitting driver, you're going to be extending more. Mm -hmm. So that right elbow tight into your side, that right shoulder really low, lots of rotation, lots of side bend is perhaps a little bit unrealistic because you're going to be extending a little bit more and you know from your experiences the more you start to extend the harder it is for you to rotate fully and side bend fully mm -hmm. yeah so with a wedge it can be quite easy to look like this yeah. but with the driver when you get to p6 you're going to start pushing up you're going to look more like this mm -hmm. yeah. yeah the elements are still there but they're starting to be done at slightly different rates from club to club